Okay, so welcome back to a new video, guys. Today I actually have like a really exciting video for me. Like I am um, actually buzzing. This is happening, right? As many Indians know, I done like my Mexican burrito bowl mukbang, which was a couple of weeks ago actually, and I got it from Bujum. So if you're unfamiliar with the term Bujum, that's literally just like or like Mexican chain. It's just like the Chipotle. I think it's everywhere in Ireland. I'm not 100 percent sure. Anyway, irrelevant. Uh, what Bujum's doing now is they're actually doing like at home, like Bujum at home. Yeah, bougie at home, that's what it says. So basically what they do is they like send you out all the ingredients, like mix up your bougie and you just make it yourself, which is unreal. So we've got chicken, tortillas, cheese, sour cream, rice, peppers, an onion, uh, salsa, um, the hot salsa, the medium salsa, and then they've also threw in jalapenos and pickled onions. So basically it comes in like, the only way I could describe it would be like HelloFresh. So you know the way HelloFresh comes in, it's like came all like pre-sized and stuff. So it comes in like, um, and I'll insert the clip now of when I actually got it. So I got it in a big box and it comes in like a wool thing and it's got like ice on either side. So it keeps all the ingredients really cool. Um, and they're all inside in like these like really good packages and stuff which is like really secure. Um, the, can we just talk about this rice, the Mexican rice? Like, I'm actually buzzing, right? So I got this yesterday, um, but I actually had a camogie match last night, so I didn't want to make my bougie before my camogie match because I wanted to, do, to video it for a start anyway, but I didn't really want to eat a bougie before my match. I mean, you definitely can, but I just, it was just a no for me. I think like the way it works um, is that they, obviously order it, you just order it online or you order it through the app, I believe, and then you just pick a day that they deliver it to your house. So it's just like DPD that delivers it. Um, so I picked Friday and it's Saturday now I'm making it so I just took all the ingredients out and put it in the fridge and it's just really like normal um, and just got rid of the rest of the packaging so right I don't know about things I'm pretty sure it's like 400 grams of Mexican rice and then I've got 550 grams of marinated chicken thighs and I don't eat meat so I'm gonna give this to somebody but that's how much you get the chicken and then I've got 200 grams of cheese We've got 14 mini tortillas, so like make me mini soft shell tacos. We've got one large green pepper, one large red pepper, one large red onion, a wee bag of jalapenos, the two salsas, so it's the medium and the hot salsa. I'm not gonna try and say salsa verde or verte or whatever it is, because I don't know what that is. And we've also got the pickled onions and a thing of sour cream. So basically once you get all your ingredients, you get like it's literally the exact same as HelloFresh. You get like your step-by-step -step on how to make everything. So they said to put the tortillas in the oven, but I actually prefer to cook my tortillas on a pan. So they have it here. Only do this if you're a confident cook. So I guess I'm a confident cook, guys. Yeah, so let's just get started in cooking this, guys. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna slice up all my veggies and then I'll get back to you when we go to fry them. So it's actually the full size of my chopping board, which is a lot of veg. So I'm gonna go and put this into the pan. So you're supposed to actually cook this along with the chicken. So like the marinade of the chicken should like flavor this, but I'm obviously not cooking that chicken, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay, so I've just finished making everything and if I'm not in this frame, then I really apologize, but I, I have no one with me, so I can't get it set up right. Anyway, so what I've done is to toasted tortillas. I toasted four and I done them on the pan, like I showed you. And then I just put my rice, two scoops of rice and two scoops of veg into a bowl. And then they also sent out the, the salsa. And then I've got in this bowl, the jalapenos and the pickled onion. And then I've got a bowl of sour cream and then I have my cheese. So I'm gonna make up my wheat tortillas now. So I'm gonna start off with like a wee bit of rice and then two of these. And I'm intrigued to like know if this will taste like the way it tastes in Bougie because I mean like I'm not bad at cooking. I'm definitely not bad at cooking, but I'm not like the best, you know? So there's two salsas actually, um, but I like the, the medium one anyway. So. That's what I normally like. No, it's the mild actually, I think. The chunky one. I just call it the chunky one. I know that's not right. And I have an invasion and I'm like, can I get the chunky um salsa please? And they're probably like, fuck is this still going but but anyway. What are you doing? What are you looking? 
Hvorfor for dig? Hvorfor? Did you take any of these? Vi pakker ud af dem. Jalapenos. 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 So me and Daddy, we now and we basically have two big bowls, but the portion that it serves, it either goes 14 um, tortillas or four bowls. So good. So let's try and taste. Here's what it looks like. I actually just like fusion. Oh my god. It actually tastes exactly like fusion. I mean, that's like obviously, but. Mmm. Oh, it's so good. Mmm. Well, you know what it is? It's a Mexican rice. Oh. I mean, I'm not joking, this is actually the best invention ever. Because you literally. Yeah. It's a Mexican rice. Because it's like. Bougian, but not only do you get you don't have to drive to Belfast because I live like 45 minutes away from Belfast so it's not that handy but also you get to pick like how much you want so you know the way like sometimes they only give you a scoop of Mexican rice you're like give me a scoop or like sometimes it'll give you enough sour cream like you can literally pick mm. amazing I can say it's just unbelievable And if you hear spike, I apologize, you know spikes like it's really there. Oh my gosh, so good! This is I love the sour cream. Let's go for tortilla number two. So I actually love getting the tacos. Um normally I get a bowl or I get a big burrito, but you could to be fair, you could just like use your own wraps and make a burrito. But I know that like majority of people actually like a bowl. I feel like bowl is definitely the most popular thing I've using. I just love the wrap. I love we got a wrap action. Do you do you want one? Like there's two to the thing there. There's pure pile of food left. If that tastes exactly like it. Yeah, exactly like it. But you know what's good about it is like, like you know the way in Bujan, like you just kind of get whatever. Like they put whatever you can like decide how much you want of everything. These wee pickled onions are lovely as well. Never tried them. Okay, so this is my second. This one's actually a big, big daddy one here. Oh my god, unreal. Unreal. Right. By the way, everyone, this kit costs 18 pounds. This also isn't sponsored, by the way. Bougem sent me um, the kit to try, but they didn't, like, they didn't tell me how to do a video or anything. They just wanted me to post it somewhere, but I want to do a video because she's no way of Bougem, so. That rice. Isn't unreal. It's unbelievable. No, seriously. Mm hmm It's jelly. They got the pepper on the I know I didn't cut the peppers very good, but whatever. No, that rice is unbelievable. Isn't it? Mm, it's so Maybe you should use the hot potato. I don't know why it gets off. Is that? Maybe it's salsa. Yeah, it's salsa. Maybe it's salsa. What? It's salsa. It's all the best. Like there's um, coriander. Mmm. I can't taste it. What's that again? Oh my god. Put some on it. I think it's nice. We can make for more. It's very creamy. Oh. Right. Sure. I've got the size that we can. Come and taste it in camera. I'm dying to. <laughs> Fill that thing up. Look at that. Maybe it has filled up. I also just put mine in the microwave. I didn't. You didn't touch that. Mm -mm. What? 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 What?
like literally about five minutes to cook all of it which is so good like the rice all you do is put a wee bit of water in it no i'm not done right now eat rice up you want to i'd eat more of that eat more of it you find the pounds there all right so the only thing that i would think would take long would be the chicken but also well what do you think did you oh see? show the other they can't see all finished all done wrap, i can't see wraps nice oh it's lovely mm -hmm. right out of town eat what would have made it then? Mushrooms. Mushrooms? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they don't do mushrooms. Why would you put the mushrooms in a burrito? This is number three, guys. Oh, it's falling over. Can I eat that? Mm hmm. You can already have the full sour cream yourself. Maybe it will. The full sour cream, sour cream yourself. There's, there's spicy sauce there if you want some. Pass the jalapenos. It's the rice, is not real, are they? What? The rice. The rice is dead. Why is these onions pink? They're pickled. Pickled. They're nice, aren't they? Yeah. Very tasty for the onions. Yeah. It's nicer when you twist the wrap. They just had this with them. They just put them in the wee thing. And put them in the oven. No, the wee. Oh, I think that is kind of toasting. Ah, it's dripping everywhere. We've made some mess. Where? I think for me, now I'm going to make that rest of double. bowl. So I'm going to add a bit of cheese. You could, they could do much cheese They could do with getting more sour cream. The sour cream's done and only two of us added, but basically. Well, to be fair, actually not three. How many rats did you have, Daddy? You had four rats, I had three, so we had seven, and you I had two. There's nine, left. five left. I you had a bowl, but you had rats as well. Mm -hmm. I never get these wee pickled onions. These are nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're going to get that off. What is that? Did you mix your bowl up, Daddy? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. He's a mixer, guys. We have some potato chips in there. Okay, so I've made mine into a bowl and I've got some tortilla chips out of the cupboard, which we just had. Mmm! So I'm sitting up a tonic. Unreal. I'm not sure how many actually soft shell tacos you get if you get a soft shell taco from Bougie. Three? That's what you want to get them with them. Three. three. You actually get that much food. I know. Because you only get like three spoonfuls, like three spoonfuls of rice. Like. Right, because I had three there now. And I have still a pie left on my bowl. Mm, this is delicious, guys. When I say, can we just tell you the story about this video came about, right? So I was sitting. And Bougie followed me on Instagram. But it was like Bougie Max, which is obviously Bougie and Max. And I was like, it was always that like we fake friend. I clicked on it and I had 16,000 followers. So I was like, oh my god. Right, okay. Right, okay, right, okay, right. I was like, if Bougie actually texts me, like, I think maybe they see my, my mother McBang. I'm going to guess they see my mother McBang and that's why they text me. I was like, they text me, like, that's me dumb. I'm retiring. Life goal map. That's me. Then they text me and they said, John has to send you out. Try the new little home kits. We know you love Bougie. And I was like, oh my God. Yep. Yep. So they sent me out. I was like, oh my God. So this is why I don't really fit in to the beauty community because number one, I don't make beauty videos, but I used to. But also, <clears throat> people get excited when like, a tanning company text them, blah, blah, blah. Let me tell you, my career of, this is not a career to really make money off it, but in this whole time of me being on social media, this is the most excited I've ever got for any company to text me. Like, I was actually like, oh my God, you cannot be serious. Like, I go to Bougie like every week. And now they're giving back and I'm like, oh. So thanks very much, Bougie. You know, if you're watching, I'm not sure who even is the 
person from like who even owns Gujum, I don't know. But I would actually bother. And look, spice absolutely dying for a bit here. I also have something I said now, you guys. I'm going to Italy next week. I had a smoking match last night. It was our championship when we got put out, so we have a week off from okay. Uh, next week because we're obviously the year's over but I'm starting uni the week after and then we're starting training again so I have a free week next week and it doesn't really it never it doesn't really set anyone to come with me to LA because um Eve is working in jazz football and like they're my only two people that will like book a last minute holiday you know what I mean so I'm gonna like, fuck it I'm gonna go by myself because I kind of like at the stage now where I don't want to like, rely on other people to do things so like if i really want to do something i don't want to like put the pressure on either of them to to do it with me and then like be annoyed if it doesn't happen because like people have their own shit do you know what i mean i need to like work on myself and not worry about what nobody else is doing so like fuck it i'm just gonna go by myself because i want to go but then my other friend texts me and i was like i'm gonna go to atlanta and she's like i'm coming and i was like oh my god let's go then so i'm gonna leave my friends so i'm not going by myself so my mom and daddy can now sleep at night because they were not thrilled they're not actually you know my mom doesn't even care. You found one, he's like, I'd rather you didn't go away by yourself. Which I, I get it. They're looking out for me. But also, I'm 22, so and I've literally went to Thailand for a month, been to America, been to Canada. I'm pretty sure I went to LA for like three days by myself. There's nothing compared to those things and I don't know. So yeah, I'm gonna land Tuesday, so Maybe when you're watching this, actually probably when you're watching this, I'll either be on my way or I'll be going and the next video will be an Italy vlog. So I'm going to Sorrento, so if anyone has any recommendations for like Sorrento, Naples, anywhere around there, then please let me know. I'm not actually going down to the Amalfi Coast like Postiano or anything like that or Amalfi, I'm just going to Sorrento, but all recommendations are welcome. Oh my god, I'm full of fuck. There's actually so much food there. Can I just say, like, I actually, I'm not even just saying this because it's sent me this, but it's actually deadly. Like, I think that kit is like 18 pound and like, it makes four big bowls. I actually think we could probably make more than that, especially if you had a chicken. Four big bowls. Um, and you know, like yourself, like if you're from where I'm from anyway, you have to drive the bougie and then it is actually like maybe like a tenner. So it's like really good value for money. The only thing is you have to cook it yourself. But again, like I said, it literally takes about two seconds to cook, so. I'm gonna wrap this video up here. Thanks so much, Vision, for sending me this. Yeah, and I'll see y'all <clears throat> in Italy. The next time you'll see me talk me, I'll be in Italy, so. Well, let's hope it is, because I did that thing where I did an Ibiza where I booked it really last minute, and now I'm like so dying with anxiety that like I fucked it up or something, which is the exact same way I was when I was going to Ibiza. Like, I was not settled until I was sitting in Ibiza in my hotel room, because you just think because you book things last minute, they're gonna go wrong. Um, yeah. So. Bye.